the biggest takeaway from this whole thing is I just don't want you to disqualify yourself for anything that you want to do. Today, I'm going to be giving you an update on my Army Warrant Officer package. Eventually, I do want to fly helicopters and put out forest fires. So, I mean, that's like way, way, way down the line. Um, but the path that I'm choosing to take is trying to put in my packet for the army. Over the past few weeks, I have been documenting my little journey. So hopefully it'll help someone out there. I have so many things working against me with this packet submission. However, I have gone long enough disqualifying myself. I'm gonna keep going until someone tells me to stop. And I know that that's gonna kind of suck because those feelings of like, oh, I'm not good enough or I failed or, you know, whatever those negative feelings are when someone's like, sorry, you know, you didn't make it or you're not qualified or whatever it is. Um, but the thing is, is that going through that experience, you're gaining so much insight and so many skills and, and knowledge, and you're just gonna be able to transfer that over to something else. So I just want you to keep going, even if, um, someone tells you no in something, and then you can just use those skills that you have gained. So it's all about experience. Just enjoy the journey, enjoy the path. Um, so that's kind of what this whole video is about, but, um, let's go ahead and just hop into the video. Okay, update. I'm at Starbucks right now, but I just got done at optometry. She said my eyes were great. So, so far we've passed the optometry portion. Super blurry. Oh my God, it's so bright. Oh my God, it's so bright. It's so bright. Hold on. <laughs> I was gonna try and show you my eyes, but it's just, it's, it's too much. Still can't see very well, but I'm super excited because I just got a message from a warrant officer saying, hey, I have a simulator, a flight simulator spot open. If you are able to come, I'm like, uh, yes, I will, whatever day that is, I will, I will be there. So I'm going to go in on the 7th and do a little flight simulator just to see how good or how bad I am. I'm going to be able to get in, do a little bit of practice, hopefully get some mentorship from him and like some pointers, tips, things like that. I have to go do the second half of my flight physical. I got to get that scheduled, but I feel like we're doing things. Things are happening, falling into place so far, so good, so... We're just gonna keep chugging along. All right, we're back on Carson. I'm going over to a warrant officer brief. My POC that I've been talking to, he's stationed in Texas. So he's actually out here giving the brief today. So I figured I might as well come, be able to just see him face to face, ask some questions that I have. And then I'm gonna go over to the flight simulator. I am so excited, I'm so nervous. Um, only because I really want it to go well. I wanna do well, I don't wanna look stupid. <laughs> um, but really, I just need to, not a lot of people get to experience this and do this, so I'm very lucky. I just need to enjoy it, have a good time, so, but I am really nervous. But we're gonna go over and do that in just a little while. Okay, so I just got out the brief and it was phenomenal, it was so good. More than half of the room was there for aviation. It is gonna be so competitive, and I already have to have waivers in and stuff, so it may not pan out, but we're still gonna try. We're still going with it, you know what I mean? One of the chiefs that was there, he's actually like the chief warrant officer of this flying unit. He was like, I was on the board before, this is what they look for. So I took so many notes, copious amounts of notes, and it was wonderful. The brief went a little bit longer and I left early because like they kept going and I was like, I'm late, I gotta get to this flight simulator. I'm already, I'm already late, I'm late. That's okay, so we are on our way. But I felt really bad because I'm like, getting up and leaving in the middle of this guy a chief warrant officer fives brief probably not a great impression but it's fine like it's fine i'm excited i'm nervous i'm late so i'm now even more nervous but it's gonna be a good time so i just got done in the simulator it was awesome like you literally are in a cockpit it's like a box and you're in a cockpit and there's like a screen so think of you being like 3d in a in a video game so i'm honestly kind of nauseous right now and the controls are so finicky. You like micro movements. When they say micro movements, they're not joking. I moved to the left and it was like <laughs> But I only died once, had a great experience. It was so cool. I'm so glad I got to do that. He said I can come back again and that I can get like a real helicopter ride. So I was like, I will never say no to that. So <laughs> I'm just, it was a great day. 
All right, so we're back on Fort Carson. It's been like a week since I saw you last. I just got done interviewing CW4 Die. She is a helicopter maintenance pilot, which was super cool that I got to sit down and just chat with her. It was really informal. I asked her a bunch of questions. You know, what's it like being a female in a male-dominated career field? How long is flight school? What's a day in the life of a pilot like? Um, what's the deployment tempo? What, where can you get assigned? What's your favorite aircraft? I had a whole list of things that, and so it was just really cool to sit down and talk with her and get some insight and some wisdom from her. And um, I loved it. So it was really cool. All right, so I just got done with my flight physical. Um, I thought I had another part to do, but she's like, nope, you've completed everything you need to. So I had my physical with the flight doc and he submitted my package to Port Rucker. Now she's like, it could take I've seen it from a day to up to six months. So I'm assuming during this time of year, it's almost Christmas in a couple weeks. So I'm assuming it's probably gonna sit on a desk for at least four weeks, but you know, whatever, that's, that's okay. That part's done, we're good to go. So we're good to go. I didn't have any waivers or anything like that. So it was quick, it was boom, bam, boom. Got her done, it was nice. Okay, we are laying on the floor. Cause I just got some news. I just got an assignment with the Air Force. So, what is that going to do for my package? Great question. I don't know. My SIF test is tomorrow, and I just got dropped a bomb. So, we will readdress tomorrow, and then we will make a new plan. Just like firefighting, you have to be resilient. We had plan A. Now something has come in and you have to process the information and assess and then with that new information, make a new plan. So we, <laughs> we will just re-attack this tomorrow. We are at the testing facility. We're here early because I did not want to get stopped at the gate or, you know, have any problems or anything. So I have my ASVAB study guide that I got from the library, which really has been helpful on the math section. I have my SIV test and then also the helicopter flying handbook. So these are all the books I've been studying with because I've been watching um, some YouTube videos, which have been extremely helpful. Um, helicopter lessons in 10 minutes or less with Jacob. He is amazing. I think the videos are like four years old now, but oh my gosh, have been such a huge help. So if you're trying to go for the SIFT and, and uh, test, I would definitely recommend checking that out. It's a lifesaver. So anyways, um, we'll see how I do on the test and I'll let you know after when I get back. All right, so I just got done taking the SIFT test. Um, I am exhausted. That was a really long test. I had to like tell myself, hey, wake up we've been studying we've been prepping for this test don't fail me now <laughs> so good night it was like a three hour test and i'm a slow test taker so i took the whole freaking time anyways um so i did pass i don't think i got a competitive score but i passed so we'll continue putting my package in and we'll see what they say so done one thing to check off I just want to take you along on my journey. There are a few little loose ends that I need to tie up before I actually submit my package, which hopefully will be by 30 January, because there have been a few things that have come into play that can affect me. I'm actually like submitting my packet. So it's going to come down to timing. So say your little prayers, whatever's supposed to happen will happen and we're just going to go with it. We will pick back up with fire stuff after the new year. I hope you guys have a very, very happy new year and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.